Hi kids, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about guinea pigs. There are awesome and beautiful and fluffy pets that a lot of people have. We are going to read a book about Brian and Bob and tale of two guinea pigs. We'll also look at letter G from Dr. Seuss book and then we'll find the words that begin with G. Let's begin by reading the story about Brian and Bob. Brian and Bob, The Tale of Two Guinea Pigs by Georgie Ripper Brian, the guinea pig, lived in a nice comfy cage in Pete's pet palace with his best friend Bob. Brian had short, shiny fur of which he was very proud. Bob had long, tufty Fur, which he didn't really think about all that much. The two little guinea pigs spent their days doing what guinea pigs do best, eating, sleeping, and playing I Spy. Brian was really good at I Spy and almost always won the clever words like parakeet, gravel. One day, Brian and Bob were busy playing when a little boy walked into the shop. I spy with my little eye, Bob began, but before he could finish, the little boy reached into the cage and picked him up. I want this one, the boy said. I'll call him Fluffy. Brian watched as Bob was put into a cardboard box with holes in the lid. He just had time to wave goodbye before Bob was gone. Suddenly, the cage felt very big and empty. Brian missed Bob already. So he trundled off to find a peanut to cheer himself up. But it didn't cheer him up at all. In fact, every day Brian missed Bob more and more. And every day he felt more and more miserable. Then one day Brian was sitting in his cage feeling sad when he noticed an old man peering down at him. The man picked him up and smiled. He's just what I was looking for. He said, and he put Brian into a box. At first, Brian was excited. Maybe there'll be another guinea pig in my new home, he said to himself. But that evening, he found himself all alone again. Brian wished he was back in Pete's pet palace. At least he could talk to the goldfish there. I wonder what's happened to Bob, whispered Brian. He's probably forgotten all about me by now. He wiped away a tear and curled up in the straw. The next morning, Brian hadn't even opened his eyes when he felt his box being lifted up. What's happening now? He grumbled, but he didn't really care. Things couldn't get much worse than they already were. He drifted back to sleep, dreaming of Pete's bad palace and, and of winning a peanut throwing contest with Bob. A little while later, Brian was awakened by a buzz of excited voices outside his box. He was annoyed. Can't I at least have some peace and quiet? Then suddenly the lid was lifted off and bright light streamed into the box. Brian looked up to see a little boy smiling down at him. Sleepily, he wondered if he had seen the boy somewhere before. The boy picked Brian up and gave him the biggest hug he'd ever had. Oh, thank you, Grandpa, he said happily. He's just what I wanted. I'm going to call him Snuffles. The little boy put Brian into his new cage. Brian stretched out and sniffed the air. That's funny, he said, and he sniffed again. As Brian watched, a pile of hay in the corner started to move, and all of a sudden, Brian! Bob! Brian was so excited to see Bob that he thought he would burst with happiness. By that evening, sitting together in their cage, playing I spy, the two little guinea pigs had almost forgotten they had ever been apart. I spy with my little eye, said Bob, something beginning with... But Brian was already fast asleep. Do guinea pigs come from pigs? Do guinea pigs get their name because they're from Guinea? The answer, actually no. Guinea pigs are not related to pigs and they do not come from Guinea. 
The Guinea is the name refers to Guyana, the country in South America. Pig refers to their stout bodies, which give them a piggy-like appearance. Guinea pigs are funny little creatures. They can be very affectionate once they get to know and trust their owners. They are popular pets, and who can resist them? Who can resist those cute, fluffy little animals? But did you know that guinea pigs are actually related to other animals like chinchillas, agoutis, and porcupines? Guinea pigs are different from hamsters, but many people get them confused. Hamsters are smaller than guinea pigs. Hamsters are omnivorous, meaning that they both, meet, they both eat meat and vegetation, and they only live three years, while guinea pigs are herbivores that only eat plants. Guinea pigs have 20 teeth, including their visible foreign scissors are at the front, and their teeth are growing all the time, so they need to chew on something. What guinea pigs like to eat? Guinea pigs mm -hmm. like to eat hay. It is the healthiest food for guinea pigs, but they also enjoy grasses, clovers, and dandelions. Guinea pigs also eat vegetables like carrots, apples, beets. In addition to water, they also like to drink milk. Let's look at letter G from Dr. Seuss book ABC. We are going to page number 18. If you have this book, you can follow along. Letter G is the seventh letter in the alphabet. So if we say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And here's a little chant that I like to teach my students about letter G that helps us remember the sound it makes. G says G, goose in the grass, G, G, G. There are some words that begin with G, like goat, girl, goo goo goggles, g, g, g. If we look at Dr. Seuss' book, we'll find those are the words that begin with g. Goat, girl, and goo goo goggles begin with letter G or sound g. G also says j, like in the word giraffe, or George, or jam. Now, let's begin by looking at our worksheet and find the words that begin with letter G. Let's look at the words in the bottom of our worksheet to find the words that begin with G or sound G. First word is cat. Cat begins with K. We're going to cross the, this picture out so we can remember we don't need to cut this. Next word is guitar. I hear the letter G or sound G in the beginning of the word guitar. So we, got, we are going to keep that and cut this for our worksheet. Next picture is snail. Begins with letter S or sound S. We are going to cross it out as we don't need, as we don't need to keep it. Grasshopper. I hear G in the beginning of grasshopper. Ghost. I also hear letter G in the beginning of the word ghost. And finally, garbage or garbage can. I hear G in the beginning of the garbage can. So these are the four words that I'm going to keep. My next step is to color, cut, and glue the pictures on the worksheet. And here we found the words that begin with letter G or sound G. Great job! And what other words begin with letter G or sound G or G? Go ahead and write a comment below with your words and ideas and I would like to know what you can come up with. If you like this video, go ahead, share, like, and subscribe, and come back to watch more episodes about pets. Have a great day!